Okay, hello humans, welcome back. Today, we're gonna do something fun, I think. Don't you just love how bad my entries are? Today, we are going to compare the Natasha Denona Yucca Palette with my dupe of the Yucca Palette so we can see how close it was. For those of you that do not follow me on Instagram, I didn't even say who I was, did I? Every time. Hi, I'm Yelly, or Yelbell Beauty, here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and now Threads, because that's a thing. Today, we are going to, like I said, compare the Natasha Denona Yucca Palette with my dupe of the Yucca Palette that I made with singles. For those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. My fiance gifted me the Yucca Palette. I came home from work one day and it was on my desk and it was very sweet of him. And he got it for me because he knew that I wanted it, but I duped it so that I wouldn't buy it. So we're gonna see. How good of a dupe did I make? What we're gonna do is we'll do some comparison swatches and then we'll do an eye look where on one eye I wear the Yucca Palette and then on the other eye, I'll do the same look with my dupe and we can see how different they are. Let's zoom in and I think we'll probably get started with the eye look. Not even. We're gonna start off like always with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I actually had this up as you could all vote on what I was going to do next on YouTube. And it was like a three-way tie. It might not be anymore at the point that I'm filming this, but it was like a three-way tie between this using the new shroud palette, which is actually like sitting behind me right now, or doing a swatch party. So I'm just gonna film all three of them. I'm not sure which is gonna go up first. Probably the swatch party, just cause like it's gonna be the easiest to edit, but um, I think I'm gonna do Davina. I was thinking either Davina or Quicksand Cosmetics, but I actually have the new Quicksand collection in the mail right now. What I'll do is I'll do Davina first, and then I'll do Quicksand for the next swatch party that we do. Okay, so let me look at what we've got here. In the Yucca palette, I'm going to start off with, oh God, how do I say this? Isha? Alexa, how do you pronounce the word I-X-I-A? I pronounce that Ixia. But Ixia. I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have it right. Okay. Well, if you could hear that, Alexa just told me this is called Ixia. I don't know if that's correct. If it's not, somebody teach your Alexa that that's wrong because that's, uh, that's how they learn things. I'm gonna take that Ixia shade on this fluffy Morphe brush. It is the JH36, and I'm gonna pop that into the inner corner. You know what's interesting about how Natasha Denona has just like started releasing so much? I feel like in the past it would be like you got one Natasha Denona palette a year, or like You'd get like a few of the mini ones, but you'd only get like one midi palette and then maybe like one big palette a year. Now I feel like she's just like releasing, releasing, releasing. I almost just put this on my other eye. <laughs> Oopsie, but I didn't, I saved it, I saved it. But yeah, I feel like she has been releasing product at a much quicker rate, which I hope doesn't become a bad thing because I feel like that was actually when we started to see the downfall of Anastasia Beverly Hills. Granted, regardless of whether or not they did that, I think that a lot of, there are a lot of reasons to not buy from Anastasia Beverly Hills anymore. That was, I think, one of the first ones. I apologize if you could hear the city noise. I do live in Philadelphia. I live in a city. So I often hear, you know, ruckus outside my window. The last time I filmed it was raining and you could hear it in the background. So I don't know what my mic picks up, but I'm gonna go with, it's probably picking up the ambulance that's driving literally down my street. And it's passing the window right now. So in my dupe, I actually have Sydney Grace Taffy. So I'm going to pop that into the same spot on my other eye. I do think that this is like a pretty spot on color dupe actually. At least when they're far enough apart on my eyes. 
looks pretty close. I kind of wish I actually took Fushi in the inner corner, but it's too late. It's too late for that. <laughs> Maybe on the lower lash line. The outer part, I think I'm gonna go in with Valley right here. I'm going to take that on a Sigma E25. So thus far, I have used this palette once. So this is my second time using it. The, the, the really Yoka palette. I've actually used my dupe like three or four times. I posted one look on Instagram, but I actually, which will probably look similar to the look I have in mind for this right now, but um, I actually took three looks for my Instagram with the dupe and I haven't posted the other two yet. But one of them's like a crazy green graphic linery one. And then the other one's like a more subdued neutral, kind of like this one, so. I think to like this palette, you do have to like warm neutrals and greens. Like that's all it is. It's warm neutrals and greens. <laughs> This color, looking at the two of them, I don't think is a good dupe, but this is Shroud. It's Ratty, R-A-T-I. It's from the Divinity palette. I don't feel that this is the correct color looking at them next to each other, so... Because this color looks lighter than my Ixia dupe, but we'll see. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how light that is in comparison. Yeah, I uh, I did a bad on that one. <laughs> that one was not a good dupe. <laughs> My eye is gonna look all kinds of backwards. <laughs> it's fine, we're gonna deepen it up. I actually saw today, I was like watching YouTube while working and Lauren Mid Beauty posted her video of like her dupe comparing it and her dupe is pretty spot on if you haven't seen it. I think it's closer than mine. Looking at these two, you know, right now, I think it's closer than mine. I mean, some of them for sure, I mean, I'll go over this in the swatches, but some of them for sure are just like straight up incorrect. I mean, this one's a pretty good example, which it looks kind of dark. dark. All right, so far not great. But yeah, that's where we're at. It is just like extremely dark on this side of my face. Let me see if I could get some sort of additional. Okay, we've done it. I've stolen my fiance's old desk lamp, which was actually quite the adventure because it was disgusting and needed to be cleaned because it's been sitting in the basement. But anyway, I think you could see it better now. So here's the dupe side. You can see how light that is. And again, I, there's no way I could stop this. I don't know what is up with my blinds that like, they actually just don't block out a light fully, but you could see that they're looking pretty different, huh? So, one day I'm gonna have an actual like office and beauty room and I won't be operating out of my living room. Then that day, I won't have to deal with blinds like this on my face. But for now, while I rent, we must. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just like, not even close, huh? I was just thinking like, do I have a single shadow so I could fix it? But also like, that's cheating, Yelly. You're just like cheating because you know you made not the correct palette. So we're just gonna Go with it, okay? We're gonna go with it and go to the next shade. I'm gonna just use this to deepen up the outer corner. You know, not that this side really needs it in comparison. <laughs> oh my god. Also, I could tell once I opened this palette that my dupe for Flax was just also like a very incorrect, you'll see in a second, but this is like a very cool toned brown. And the dupe that I, and I do actually have a brown that looks like this. It's, I depotted it from a Juvia's Place palette, but the brown that I put in here is from Sydney Grace. I can't remember which one it is though. And it's very warm. So I do think these are gonna be two different eye looks, but you know what might save the day? The shimmers, which I think look kind of similar. The keyword is think though, so we'll see. So here was my dupe 
This is Sweet Cakes from Sydney Grace. Let's just like hold them up next to each other. You can see like the spirit of the color is correct, but the tone is wrong. Actually looking in the monitor, they look very close, but I promise you this is a very warm shadow. I think you'll be able to see it in swatches, but it's like a true chocolate brown. This is from the uh, Sweet Indulgence palette which I love all the shadows from that palette, but I took them all out. Like they just work together better as singles in my opinion. And I use them all the time. The shimmers in that palette are like hit or miss. Like they're all fine, but some of them are just very lackluster. But the mattes, you know, Sydney Grace mattes are just always where it's at. That's a brand I would love to collab with, which I think would actually shock a lot of you. Like if you were like name like 10 brands, well, I mean 10 brands. If you were like name like five brands that you would like like to collab with, I think Sydney Grace is up there. I I think that they make like some of the best mats and I would love to work with them in any capacity. Long time Sydney Grace fan. I don't know if I'd say it's like, oh yeah, like if you were like you get to name one, I don't know if Sydney Grace would make the cut, but they're certainly on the short list. If I had to pick a number one, I think a lot of you could probably guess what it is. <laughs> Let me know down below. Who do, you, who do you think that I'd like my first collab to be with? Like what brand? Take your guess. We'll see how many of you are right. Oh, just a completely different look, dude. Just a completely different look. So when I duped this palette, I made it before I got the palette, obviously. And I made it off of several different swatches because what happened was when I first duped it, I was like, then looking at people's videos where they were swatching it out. And I was like, oh, based on the Natasha Denona reveal photos, it, it looked very different in comparison to like what it actually looked like, which is, you know, the problem about how Natasha Denona doesn't do real swatches. They just do like those computerized swatches on people's arms. And that's like a whole other problem, you know, but I had to change some, and so I, I did a lot of tweaking to this palette, and it is still wrong. I think that just shows you how different things show up on camera than they do in real life, which is why, like, if you watch my video where I'm making a BYOP, I remember I show you all a yellow, and I'm like, this is actually a pale yellow, but then I could see in the viewfinder of my camera that it looked like a bright yellow, and it was just not, it was like a pastel yellow, so... Um, I, I think that's very interesting how color translates onto, onto film. Even when you have a high quality camera. I mean, I'm not saying that I have the highest quality camera ever, but like, I would think that I paid enough money for this for it to capture the tone of a color correctly. I mean, I think my skin tone looks pretty close. My skin is like horrendous right now. You could actually, I remember in my last video, I was like, I'm red and like, you all can't tell. You could see a lot of that redness right now. We'll fix it eventually. Okay. Um, this is looking real patchy on top of that shroud shadow. Apparently shroud and Sydney Grace shadows do not play well together. That might've been the first time I've ever attempted to blend them together, but that's looking not good. So it is what it is. Which I do love shroud shadows and I do love Sydney Grace shadows. So it's sad that they're, uh, at least these two ones are not friends. The Natasha Denona one's looking fine. Next, I think we're just gonna go on with a shimmer. I think I'm gonna go on with this shimmer right here. So I thought it was called Elysian. I've always heard this called Elysian, but I've, he I've heard people say Elysian now that it's on YouTube. So I might've just been saying that word wrong my entire life. I'm gonna take my very sad NYX glitter glue. <laughs> and this is a Morphe JH41. I've just picked up way too much glitter glue, wow. You know what's funny? I put my glitter glue on with a brush and then put my shimmers on with my finger, but I've seen people like put their glitter glue on with their finger and put their shimmers on with their brush. I wonder why I started doing it like this. I honestly don't know. It's a lot of, sorry I'm flipping you off, but there is a lesion. My other fingers are covered in other things. I will say one thing, right? I do think that the shimmers in this palette are different than some of the other Natasha Denona shimmers. 
but I do think that in the pan, they come off, like that looks very textured. To me, that looks pretty smooth. I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm just like incorrect. I don't know, I mean, it certainly has more texture than like a regular Natasha Denona shadow, but like in comparison to my dupe, I honestly think with the shimmer, it's, it's just gonna be like no contest, you know? Like, I think the shimmers in my dupe are like where it's at. I am gonna take a little bit of Komorebi, this shimmer right here. You could see yourself right there. Where are you? There you are. I will say, while I think Elysian is like one of the prettiest shimmers in here, it doesn't really, interestingly, it's very cool tone in comparison. I don't really know how well it plays well with a lot of these tones. Cause like Komorebi, in my opinion, is the closest shimmer to merge it with. And like, look how green that is. That's very interesting to me. Okay, now we're gonna do it on the very sad Dubai. Just because, like, look how sad that is, you know? Look how sad that's looking. Okay, so my dupe for Elysian, Elysian is Lucent Ray from Davina. This is one of the moonscapes. These are just, like, unbelievable shimmers. Like, look at that. It's, there's like really just no contest with any Natasha Denona shimmer. I'm sorry, but like, look at that. I mean, if you don't want texture, like this is a very beautiful shadow, but if you know me, you know I'm all about the chunky PC textured. Anything that looks like this, that isn't just like true chunks of glitter, sign me up, you know? I mean, this is what's gonna save the dupe look. Look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna take my dupe for Como Rebi, which looking now, I kind of think I would swap these. So the shade that I did pick was Sour Spanks from Davina, which I think that this is, you know, a fine dupe, but if I were to pick again, now seeing this, I would pick Air Glow from Davina, which is another one of those Moonscape shadows, because I put Air Glow down here for Ray. And for Ray, I could have put down, you know, like any old gold, but looking at it now, I do think that it is closer in color to Como Rebi. So here's Sour Spanx. Love it. Great shadow, but you know, not at all. Like these are, these don't even, they're not even going to look close. Ah, uh, maybe like in tone, actually. My eyes, my one eye is so sparkly. My camera just doesn't know what to do, apparently. Okay. I mean, in tone. Yeah, I think I think they're pretty close in tone, actually, if you look at them. But in the pan, they really look like nothing alike. That's very interesting. I wonder how I figured that. I mean, obviously, I, I sat there and I swatched things, but like, you know. Um, all right, so that's where we're at right now. Let's see if we could just get some of this to calm down, you know? <laughs> Just so that it's not completely outshining its sister on the right. I mean, this is going to be tough, right? Because I, I, I mean, if you've watched my first video of all of my eyeshadow palettes, I am like a Natasha Denona fanatic. Like, I think she has a wonderful formula. I think that if you're going to do makeup on other people, like, that's always the first formula that I reach for. I always reach for Natasha Denona. I think she makes phenomenal shadows. I think she makes phenomenal color stories. I mean, yeah, there are some things that are like meh, like any of the cream de mattes in the Love palette, bad, bad, bad. I mean, if you're gonna compare it to something like this, I mean, it's just, there's really no comparison, you know? As much as I love Natasha Denona, if you were to tell me for the rest of my life, I could only buy shadows from Natasha Denona or Davina, I would buy them from Davina, which I think is saying something to Davina's quality. Wow, look at my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I said last time, my stained, grubby, glittery hands. That's, that's what we're at right now. That's just going to be like my channel tagline. Stained, grubby, glittery hands, right? Anyway, let me go wash my hands and wet my sponge and we'll do something with the face. <laughs> my hands are actually still quite stained. Wow. What the heck? I did some scrubbing. You could see, hold on. Let me, let me prove to you that I'm not disgusting nothing's coming off. Okay, so this is what I'm learning. Elysian, Elysian, whatever, in that Natasha Denota palette, 
I don't, I'll have to report back if it stains my eyelid, but it certainly stained my finger. So, I mean, not a huge deal for me. It's not like I'm, you know, getting married next week or something, but like next week, I would hope that would come off by next week. It's not like I'm getting married today or something and my fingers can't be stained, but like, you know what I mean? Like it's annoying. Oh my God, before I even do anything, look at that. Uh, I will say that is like the one, like, this is why I do face before base. Or, this is why I do eyes before base, because like, look at, like, that's what this Davina shadow does. And I want to wear things like it and I love it, but like, that would be all up in my foundation, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna do some makeup. My skin's looking rough still. I don't know if you could, uh, but like, it's, uh, it's not our friend right now. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. I apologize that you have to look at it, but you do have to. On my lips, I'm gonna put some of the Oric Plush Ritual. I've actually been testing this out for an Indie Makeup Monday. It's only been a few days, so like, I don't really have thoughts. Every part of me is dry right now. I don't know what it is. Like elbows, lips, cheeks, all of it is dry. All right, so we're gonna finish up the eyes. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here that we wanna pop on the lower lash line or something. I do think that this look could be best served by a liner, but I would just like you to see the comparison. So like, I'm not gonna put on any liner. A little bit of this light color from Shroud blended away. I guess I got some foundation on it there. It, like the air on my apartment is on 68 right now, but it feels like a million degrees under this lamp. I can't explain how much heat that this is like producing right now. Lower lash line, I'm thinking green. I was, part of me like really wanted to go with Camu Camu because I wanted to compare it to Terra Moons Among the Stars, but I'm, I'm gonna go with Willow on the lower lash line, which is the green. And my dupe for Willow is Lemna from the Copacetic and Rocky Makeup Collab. I'll put on the screen whatever Lemna is, but I'm gonna guess it's like a plant or something that like some type of algae that grows or thrives in water. Um, based on that palette. So I'm gonna take Willow on a Blend Bunny B3. Lemna is a little bit brighter. I don't know how much you could tell. Willow just seems a little bit more like subdued in color, but I could be wrong. The swatches will be like the true test. I uh, went a little overboard with it though, so let's uh, take some willow and drag it down. I guess we're going real editorial here. All right, and for inner corner, let's see. You know what, let's do it. Let's put Camu Camu in the inner corner. So that's the bright like chartreuse shade. On the same Blind Bunny B3, we're gonna take Camu Camu on the Natasha Denona side. Just like a little pop. My dupe for Camu Camu is Terra Moons Among the Stars. I can see in the monitor that this is not translating, but this is like a true neon. Like I cannot stress enough how neon this is, yellow. So let's make the comparison. Same Blend Bunny B3. I mean, again, it's just like, Look how much brighter that that is than Camu Camu. Camu Camu will definitely be like a more wearable neon, that's for sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it on that. Let's put on some mascara and we'll wrap up. Do y'all still curl your lashes? Let me know. Also, I'm just gonna say it now. Yes, I'm the only Philadelphian in the world that says y'all and not use. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, in Philadelphia, instead of y'all, people say use. Like you, like you and me, but with an S-E at the end. Y-O-U-S-E, use. And we'll say not just use, we'll say use guys. Use guys.
Don't even ask, I don't know why. Just go with it, okay? To bring it all together, I'm gonna put the same pencil on each waterline. So the pencil I'm gonna use is Chartreuse Flash from NYX. It is like a shimmery chartreuse. I don't think my camera's gonna focus on it because of the lighting, but yeah, gonna pop that in my waterline. The amount of messages I'm getting from colleagues right now is insane. It is past work hours. It is now 5.30. Okay, before swatches to tie it together, let's put something on our lips. I don't know what I'm gonna pick because <laughs> this is not the same eye look. I think that is clear. My hair been doing this the whole time. It is what it is at this point, right? I think a color that'll look really good specifically with the inner corner shades, this is Pleased from Urban Decay. I don't know if this is going bad, which would be really sad if it was because I've only had it for a few months, but this smells like crayons, which I don't know if I remember it smelling like crayons before. Here is our finished look. So I think that you can see that my dupe was pretty different. And I think that there are two reasons for that. One, like I was saying, I was going off of swatches and videos. I didn't have the palette in front of me to dupe it. But two, just the texture of the dupe, you know? Because look at these Davina shadows and how much texture they have in comparison to the really smooth Natasha Denona shadows. Now, like, I've only used this twice, so I'm not going to give you like a full review, but it feels like pretty regular Natasha Denona formulas with the exception of maybe like the shimmers have a little bit more glitter in them. But the ones that I haven't tried yet in here to really talk about are the, the cream to matte ones, which I think those are where her formula is like the most finicky. Like I think she has her matte formula down. I think she has her shimmer formula down. I think her cream to matte formula can be hit or miss. So those are the ones that I really want to like try and give like a full on review and then tell you my thoughts on the palette. Now, like, am I happy to have this? Yes, but also I did not pay $69 for it. Again, my fiance gave this to me as a gift. So it's really up to you if that is worth it. Now, like, are the looks similar in essence with my dupe? Sure, like in essence, yes. Like the idea of the look is there, but again, it's a very different feel when you have like this glitter explosion versus like, this smooth eye look. So I think that the the question here that you should really ask yourself, right? If you have the Davina Moonscapes and you're like, do I need the Natasha Denona Yucca palette? The question I am going to pose to you is, well, do you want a smooth shimmer, right? Like this is like a, I don't want to use the word classy, but I think of like, this is a palette I'd wear to work. I wouldn't wear a Davina Moonscape to work. If you're wondering, I do work in like corporate America. I work in human resources at a company that's like a nine to five, okay? So like, I wouldn't wear these Davina shadows to my nine to five. I would wear this to my nine to five, not necessarily these exact colors together, but I would wear this eyeshadow palette to my nine to five. There are certainly shades in here, mostly the mattes that I would wear to my nine to five, but I just think that these glittery ones are just not entirely like appropriate for my nine to five. So again, it's really up to you. Like what kind of use do you want to get out of it? Because for me now, it's like I have two different things that might look like the same color, but their usage is very different in when I can and can't wear them or like what I might use them for. So for me, I am happy with both of these. So now I am going to go set up on the floor because <laughs> that's where I do my swatches. Um, I'm going to set up everything over there and I will pop that in here. So here we are. You could see my, uh, <laughs> my lamp in the mirror there, but we are going to compare the Natasha Denona Yucca palette with my dupe of the Yucca palette. So I am going to go shade by shade here. We got our micellar water ready to go here. So we're ready for some good old hand swatches. My hand is a little red actually because those NYX liners are very, very good. And uh, after I swatched them, I really had to do some scrubbing. You could actually see, I don't know if it'll actually focus on it, but there's still a little bit of it left. Even with the micellar water, it didn't want to come off, but we are going to go shade by shade. So let's start off with the mattes. And that is because 
I know that the Davina glitters are gonna <laughs> explode. So let's start off from the Natasha Denona palette. We have Calathea, and then my dupe palette right here, we have Island Paradise from Sydney Grace. Now Calathea is one of the cream de matte formulas, so formula-wise, these are not really going to be comparable. Color-wise, mine is off. In the pan, they do look quite similar, but in tone, they are not the same. So this is Calathea and this is Island Paradise. So you can see that Island Paradise leans more almost teal in comparison to Calathea, which again, in the pan, this does look like quite teal, but it is like what I'd call like an army green. So that's interesting. Next we have Acacia, which this is a true matte. This right here is from a Juvia's Place palette. This is from the Nomad palette. They actually didn't name the shades in that palette. So you could see here that Acacia is more of like a deeper chartreuse. And then the one that I picked from the Nomad palette is much darker and I'd call it like, it's closer to a khaki green, you know? And this is more like a puke green. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So. This right here is Acacia. And then this right here is the Nomad palette. So yeah, you could see that those are quite different. Next we have Camu Camu, which this one I think I'm the most interested in seeing the comparison of. And then this one right here is Among the Stars from Terra Moons. Oh yeah, okay, so as I was doing the look, you really couldn't see how neon among the stars was, but like, look at how neon among the stars is. If you can't tell which one is more neon, it is this one. <laughs> it is among the stars from Terra Moons. I knew when this palette was revealed that I didn't have a direct dupe for Camu Camu. In Lauren May Beauty's video, she had a $1 shadow from Shop Miss A that was pretty close, um, but yeah, there's these are just like not the same eyeshadow. I will say Among the Stars is not a good swatch. Like it doesn't swatch well, and I think most neons don't swatch well, but on the eyes it looks very nice. So there you go. They're not, you know, once blended out, they're not too far off, but they're not the same. Oh no, I don't know if you could tell, but there's always like permanently glitter on this tablecloth. I wash it once a week and there's still glitter on it. I don't use this as an actual tablecloth if you were wondering based off of that. I only use this for swatches. Um, but yeah, it's on my hand and uh, this, this microfiber towel certainly has its fair share of glitter on it. I also just took this out of the wash and look how stained this is. Look at that. Next we have Tipu, which looking in the pans, I can tell you that this is much more of a cool shade than my dupe. So that is Tipu. This right here is Dijon from Dandelions Co. So yeah, you could see I picked more of a yellow, like Dandelions Co Dijon is like a Dijon mustard color. And then Tipu is like a nudie green, you know, it's, it is kind of like a khaki, like I was saying about that Nomad shadow, but it's lighter in tone but it's closer to a khaki than, uh, than Acacia is. So there is Tipu and there is Dijon. I do think that Dijon might be pretty close to Fushi, but we'll, uh, we'll see when we get down there. For Fushi, I picked a different shadow, obviously. And these ones we know from the look are not the same, but here is Valley and here is Batty from Shroud. So Valley, Batty. I mean, these are like not even close. I mean, you can't really even see Batty. Batty is like the color of my skin tone. And then Valley is like a beige. So that's where we're at there. Okay, now we have Citrine. This is Arctic Lime from Terra Moons. I think that this is also going to be like too neon. Yeah, I mean, the color is the same, right? But the the depth is wrong. So Citrine and Arctic Lime.
This one I talked about in the video. So here's flax, which again is a very cool toned color, right? Like we could see that's like a very cool brown. And then this is Sweet Cakes from Sydney Grace. So you can see that the color is the same, but the tone is wrong, right? Like this is very cool. This is pretty warm. Looking in the viewfinder, these still look very similar to me, which is weird because looking at my fingers, they do not look the same. So here's flax. And then here is sweet cakes. Oh, you could see it now for sure. Like, look at that. They are not the same shadow. It seems like my ultimate issue here is like tone, right? Like I got a lot of the colors right, but I didn't necessarily get the tones right. Okay, let's see. We have Fushi. This is a cream de matte. And this here is Ocean by Shroud. It's from the Divinity palette. Huh, those are pretty close. Again, this one's a little bit deeper, but like not as far off as I thought they would be. So here's Fushi. And here's Ocean. Yeah, so like you can see it's the tone. I do wonder, I want to pop in Dijon just to see. So this is again Dijon from Dandelions Co. Oh yeah. So Dijon is, is much closer in depth. It's actually darker than Fushi. So this one right here, Fushi, is like between these two shadows. Here we are again with our friend I couldn't pronounce, Ixia. So there we go. Sorry I'm flipping you off. I don't know why I used that finger. That is Ixia. And then we have Taffy from Sydney Grace. On the eye, they did look pretty similar. I do think Ixia is warmer. So here's Ixia. And here's Taffy. So Taffy almost looks pink in comparison. You know, like this has more yellow in it. This has more pink in it. And last but not least for the mattes, we have Willow. And then Alemna from Copacetic. These are like, again, pretty darn close. Lemna is a little bit brighter. I was saying that as I put it on my eye, but like eyes apart from each other, you really, you really can't tell these two differently. So there's Willow and there is Lemna. You can certainly see that Lemna is much brighter, but when you know, you're like a whole face of eyes apart, <laughs> it's pretty hard to tell that these are different. Thank God that was the last one because I'm stained. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the shimmers. So for the shimmers, I'm gonna go arm. My arm is also a little stained from earlier. I did some swatches of a new palette and the red in there stained me. You can see it's this pink. So just know that that's not from this. So let's swatch all the Natasha Denona shimmers first and then we'll swatch all of the shimmers here on the side from my dupe. I could tell you right now, every shimmer in my dupe is from Davina, all of them. Okay, so here is Plantasia. Here is Como Rebi. Here is Elysian, or Elysian, again, still don't know how to say it. Asked my Amazon Echo how to say it. They thought I was talking about like Elysian on your skin, like A space Elysian. <laughs> here is Ray, and here is Machia. So these are all of the Natasha Denona shimmers, which look very beautiful. From Davina, we have Fire Hunt. Not even close, Yelly. What did you do there? Sour Spanx. And a Lucent Ray. I mean, Lucent Ray is the closest to where it came from, but Sour Spanx isn't bad. And we have Air Glow. Also, not even close. And Moonbeam. Moonbeam is fairly close. So you could see the shimmers I picked were pretty hit or miss. Again, I think that the shimmers from Davina are more impactful, <laughs> if that's the word I'm gonna use. If I'm just gonna be honest, like these Natasha Denona shades are beautiful, but the, the Davina shades are much more beautiful in my opinion. I'm just gonna say it, okay? But if you want me to use a word that is not so subjective, 
like beautiful, they are much more impactful. And this is why I did those last. Can you see that? <laughs> I love it. Who needs body glitter when you have eyeshadow fallout? So that is all for today. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you join again. Click the subscribe button. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure, let me know down below. Did you get the Yucca palette? Did you dupe the Yucca palette? Would you buy the Yucca palette um, based on how different my dupe looks from it, etc., etc. I want to know. I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are. I hope that you stay safe, stay healthy, and stay weird. Bye.